Um, but we can, because there's, um, you know, there's, there's only a few folk, we can think about whatever we want. But I, I kind of want to take you through perhaps some kind of thinking question, what you might want to do, and then see if we can look at some areas you, you could pick that. Um, pick the voluntary up, whether it could be different resources I can show you. Um, but just to begin with, and just to kind of get you thinking, um, Helen very kindly has agreed to come along and just share something that the, the college um, has very strong links with and just opportunities they have, just to give you a kind of flavour of what you could do. Um, and so, yeah, if Helen, just to explain the different things on offer. So it's very interesting, I thought, that it's on your doorstep and you can talk to someone about it, why not? Yes, if you want to come and uh, talk a bit more, my office is just on that building before the first one we get to. <laughs> and I see you going back and forward to the office there. So I work for the Assumption Sisters and I live on site. And, um, and I've been their volunteer coordinator for about nine years now. Um, so it's a little program that they have. It's been going about 15 years. And they um, want to. I suppose help young people at the beginning of their life journey is everyone has a mission and, and really helping people to find it. Um, so they offer uh, a year abroad um, in projects connected with the sisters because they're in different countries, 34 different countries. And at the moment, we've, as I said, we've got um, places in the Philippines. Uh, we've, our projects over there, they're often educational and social. Um, Project. So you'd, you'd join in a, a Filipino program, so they recruit Filipinos themselves and then they have a year's program and they go through and it's, so there's a lot of community, so you're never on your own there. So you, well, there's a lot of support. So you find a pro they, they give you a project, they give you a place to live, they give you some food, money, and, and you're just li really living on with the people, really, with the Filipinos. And it's a really wonderful experience like that. It's not like a holiday because you're really there and um, and you and so that's a year. It starts say August and finishes in July. So it's just this the academic year. We've also got uh, India, we want to send to India where the sisters have got a little school over in Kerala. Very remote. I've been there last year. Um, and it's it would really be you'd have to be good at living on your own over there, your own way of the city. But we thought we'd give people two different um, experiences. So maybe six months in the rural area, and then um, maybe four months in, in a town, um, in another community, teaching English as well. So that's different. We also have someone in Lithuania um, doing English in a school for the mostly disabled children. Um, mixed, and that, that's great. Then you're living in Eastern Europe, getting that kind of an experience. So really the experience is to come out of your own culture and move into another culture and live there. And it's an exchange of gifts, that's what we say. Um, so you have gifts to give, they have gifts to give. So it's not so much a development organization of um, passing on your skills, and it's not really a kind of glorified holiday. It's somewhere in the middle. <laughs> so besides that then, so the sisters have this, this program, it's called Assumption Volunteers. But besides that, I've brought you another list of um, 10 different organizations connected mostly to religious orders. The Jesuits have got um, a program, Salesians, uh, Romans, and they're all different. Some of them take 18 plus, some take October, some send for a month, some send for three years. Uh, so there's all kinds of different things. They're sending to different countries. Um, the shorter the time that you go, you find more we have. <laughs> but that's I mean very because then the shorter time it's more for you and the longer a time it's it's a key for the others. So um, that's basically it. So I'm going to leave this here on all your information. So if you want it, just to, uh, is that enough? Yeah, great. Has anyone from Heathrock gone on and done these um, particular uh, activities? Strangely, no, not really, because <laughs> But uh, that was always very strange. But we got a young man whose best friend was at Heathrop, and he mm -hmm. heard about it from Heathrop. And the best friend was thinking about it, and he decided to stay on doing a PhD instead. Mm -hmm. But the other one, who wasn't from Heathrop, he went to the Philippines and he worked for Lash. And he had, and he had a, a wonderful experience there. So keep trying, Heathrop. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um. <laughs> 
they do it too close. <laughs> um, and you're saying that most of the opportunities are around education, is that right? Mostly around education, um, yeah, because the sisters will kind of call for education, but it's, it's loose education. Yeah. Sometimes the sisters overseas have got schools, say in the Philippines it's often loose, so we don't necessarily work right with the assumption system mm. in the Philippines, but because it's a lay group that's been going for 25 years, and so we can be working possibly with street children, blind people, disabled mm. children, little school. It can be it can be varied. With the Philippines, you really have to just trust and jump because mm. you go and you know you, you don't exactly know what you're going to do until you get there. And they often don't know what you're going to do until they met you. Mm. <laughs> but that's part of the culture, so it's, mm. it's leading into another culture. With the Philippines, you do know where you're going. Where, 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 where you, you do know where you're going. Where you're going. Where you're going. Where the last, last question, just in case anyone's wondering, do you need to be of a particular faith background or sympathetic to the aims of the organisation? Sym sympathetic, I think, um, to to faith, really, I would say. Um, if you were very anti-anti-faith, you'd say, well, you wouldn't really feel comfortable going with another organisation. Mm -hmm. But we've taken people kind of on the edge. And we even took, um, we took a Japanese woman who was volunteering over here. And she, she had no faith at all mm -hmm. in Japan. But she was very open. She said she was open, and she just took the whole thing as, as part of the, uh, the different culture. So she was in Africa, and she'd go there, and she'd go to the office, and she'd go to Mass, and she'd come forward. She said, and so she'd be writing back and said, I didn't feel so bad because the sisters were dropping off as well. This is great long to her, all that. So she was really open to the whole thing. Mm. If you're open to it, that would be fine. Yeah. But um, most of the people we Taken. Most of them are Catholic. We've, we've got Anglicans, Methodists. Um, we've never had anybody of another faith before. But, uh, but we once had a, um, an application or an inquiry from a Muslim, and we would have said yes. <laughs> uh, but, um, yes. But for us, I think it's kind of living, living gospel values in history and mm. service and love and everything rather than necessarily. Questions on your back. Cool. Hey, well, thank you very much. Well, That's very kind. Thank you. 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 Thank no, you okay, okay. You're fine. You're fine. Um, so yeah, with with this kind of push at all, and with this kind of discussion, it's really just to get a, a feel of um, firstly what yeah what brought you here today. What are you kind of interested in? Um, I was just kind of thinking about um, like what's not in terms of like summer internships, volunteering, just because it's such a big summer. If I don't do something, I'm just going to end up sitting around, so, um, okay. but and I'm quite open to different types of things, so. Mm. Okay, so I've got to open to mind at this point, yeah. just yeah. thinking, and remind, what year are you first? So you, so, okay, so you're your first year summer, yeah, that's great, it's a few summer, yeah, okay, and different story, same story? Uh, I'm third year, so I'll be finishing, so it's mm, looking at both gap year and also volunteering, mm. either. Yeah, I don't know, either through the summer or I've been on Wednesday or... Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Now, sad interest, do you, in terms of, um, are you looking to volunteer at any point in time? I wanted to for the summer. Mm -hmm. It's been right. difficult to find anything, yeah. but I don't want to, because the last two summers I've spent not mm -hmm. really doing anything, particularly, apart mm -hmm. from going on holiday. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, need, I definitely need to um, find something to do. Yeah. Whether that is an internship mm -hmm. or whether that's volunteering somewhere, yeah. just depends sort of where you can find it. Because at the moment, I've been trying to apply for things, but it's all these big companies that yeah. you know it's quite difficult to get into. So it'd be nice to do something a bit more on the ground so that you can show that you really are kind of like trying and okay. that kind of thing. Yeah. Whatever, really, it's all about what's there, I guess. Yeah. So just if you don't know, um, Sophie's our career director, so sometimes she's her talk and she's like, I don't want to get into her. 
whenever, and sometimes it might fly. So, <laughs> sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> so so um, that's, that's kind of why I like it, that hesitant uh, mood. Um, okay, so um, what I want to do is, I mean, the kind of, I don't know, some 20 minutes or so, 25 minutes, is really kind of go through a kind of maybe a decision making process to help them maybe figure out what might be useful to do, and uh, maybe some of the long term benefits. Um, where you might want to do it, and you can think about brainstorming where you want to look for those opportunities. And it's really interesting because I think sometimes volunteering might be in a balance between um, uh, it could be part time work and internship. It's all, they're all in the mix of them together, as, as you were saying. Um, and so, yeah, if you want to ask anything about those kind of things, then feel free. I think really key things to think about in terms of, say, internships. Some companies who just have very high minimum kind of standards to get in, and often you need something to be a little bit more entrepreneurial, perhaps volunteering, perhaps more generated, so then you can go to the big guys and go, look, 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 I haven't just got a change in this year, but it's like work. Um, so, particularly if you're in your first year, you can build up stuff in the first year, in the second year. By the time you get to the third year, you kind of have something to say, um, and then similarly for third year, you might think, Ooh, I want a bit of time, I can build that up, and so I can apply, could be a year's time, or whatever you want to do. Um, cool, okay, so um, just, uh, and, and you've got pen and paper, that's beautiful. Do you have a pen? You're right. oh, okay. um, what I want you to do is, I want you to write down your goals. Okay, so this is, this is goals for kind of this summer or the next year, because you're thinking summer or possibly a longer yeah. experience. What are your goals for that time? I want you to write down five if you could. Let's give you a couple of minutes to do that. What are your goals for that time? Brand. Um, I'd love to, and again, if it's too personal, like, oh, I want to, da -da -da, like some thing, like, oh, I'm not going to share that. Um, I'd just love to know what, what people have kind of written. Again, if it's too personal, just leave that one out. If it's not, I'll share. I'll start with you first. What have you got? Let's try and get a decent, good three weeks of work experience, if that's volunteering or if that's within okay. like a company so or something, time period. a d decent you know block that I can say, you know, yeah. I did this and yeah. I did it, you know, for a long time, not just like I came for an afternoon yeah. and yeah. that was my work experience because it's not experience that's I did a bit, of, <laughs> you know, shadowy. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, try and make a decision over the summer as to where I'm heading in the long run, okay. kind of like, um, sort of, like, what kind of a career I'm looking for, that kind of thing. Okay. Um, 
and kind of like make sure I've got some decent sea view building kind of like things that I've done. Mm. That's better. Okay, okay. So it's quite already, because um, the next question is going to be how does this fit in with your long term planning? And it it is. sounds like this is quite mesh, it's quite tightly mm -hmm. linked already. So you think you've got a CV, something substantive, um, and possibly sometimes um, work experience or volunteering might help you work out an option for the future. So you might go into it and you might, oh my goodness, this is amazing, why aren't I doing more of this? How do I do this on a full time basis? Or, oh my goodness, this sucks, I'm so glad I haven't applied for a job with this. Yeah, so absolutely you can help kind of work it out. Uh, yes? Uh, okay, so I found some love said to gain experience which is relevant to getting on the course for a potential career, possibly. Yeah. Um, yeah. Travel, uh, gaining experience in something different, like a different area of mm. work or um, general, like, yeah, enterprise or whatever. Um, yeah. Making it worthwhile for myself and also hopefully for other people, so yeah. in a capacity that is helping or developing or something. Mm. Um, and then with the potential for actually earning some money as well, especially if it's going to be a long term rather than just a summer basis. Yeah, because that, that's quite key. Um, we can kind of, um, if that's something you want to talk about, because funding different opportunities will obviously. Yeah. Um, some will cost you a lot. So that's the thing, sometimes a lot of volunteering programmes that look really, really beneficial mm. and exciting, they cost so much money and it, you Absolutely. think, I'm just giving everything in time and money and everything, I'm not sure yeah. actually what I'm going to gain from it. It's, yeah. Especially it's only quite a short two month or whatever period yeah. to be paying thousands and thousands of pounds, it seems a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think that was interesting um, in what um, Helen was saying about the opportunity there. I think you pay for the airfare, it's about coming to like, I don't know, 70 quid, then the rest you should break even over the year. Yeah. And they, the sisters put in quite a, a yeah. lot of cash into that. So that, that's quite interesting. Um, because you're right, if you did that with, say, I don't know, Rally International or some big organisation, a whole chunk of change would need to depart from your bank balance. So yeah, it yeah. is different. Okay. Um, so, okay, this question. So, so career, something to do in the future with the lead on possibly travel? Yeah, so it's a mix for me, I would say, of wanting to hopefully lead into a career or to mm -hmm. make a decision about what I actually want to do yeah. if it's related to anything that I volunteer with and also at the same time as hopefully doing a bit of travelling and yeah. experience for myself as well as for mm -hmm. like long term prospects. Yeah, 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 that sounds great. Um, and something worth kind of thing yeah. in some way. Yeah, that's great. Um, okay. okay. And by that means least. Yes. Um, <clears throat> so I've put like new experiences in the learn a new skill mm -hmm. or like trade, but not trade. Like, yeah, get philosophy for. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah. I've put like experience at the workplace. Perhaps, mm. um, yeah, just like because we're still like first year, so to like start a foundation for mm. like the CV and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and I always feel like challenge my perceptions of different things as well, but mm. yeah. Any particular perceptions you were trying to? Change? I don't know, it was, um, it was kind of like when I did work experience. Um, but the standard and like, mm -hmm. like thinking that the media is this big corrupt thing, like twists all the news and stuff like that. But then you go and work in that kind mm -hmm. of environment, and it's, the reality is completely like the opposite. But mm -hmm. so things like that, you know, like the expectations of working in certain areas, mm -hmm. what's the kind of reality? Of it? Mm -hmm. so, that's really interesting. That's a very great, very example there. So before you were in the organisation, you thought, oh, you know, yes. <laughs> and you're there, you're like, oh, okay, these people are just trying to get out of the story, yeah. they've got deadlines or whatever. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, that's really interesting. Um, okay, um, are there, and again, so, the, so hopefully we can help in your long term planning, but are there any kind of skills that you know you need to develop that you like? To um, either you need to develop them because you want to be volunteering in a particular area and you just don't have that, or, because it's a legal question, or are there skills you need to develop for the job market and you're thinking, hmm, 
I really need some sort of experience to develop that. So think about your skills now, just for sort of a minute. Are there any skills either that you're missing that you need to get before this opportunity this summer, or are there skills that you're missing and you need to develop them on the job, do you think, within this opportunity? Just have a think, any skills you think are missing? It could be gaps in your CV you've identified or whatever it is. Okay, any thoughts on the skills? We'll go around again this way, it seems okay. to work. Um, I was thinking more about perhaps not knowing that you're lacking skills, but okay. needing that experience to know what you are lacking <laughs> um, okay. and working at it from that kind of perspective. Because I think mm -hmm. sometimes you go into things thinking one thing, yeah. um, and then when you get there, you realise mm. that perhaps what you thought you did have, you didn't have. Mm. Um, so I guess I, you just don't always know what you're getting into before you get into it. So it's helpful to learn those things whilst you're doing it. So like you said, um, learning things on the job. Mm. Okay, okay, so that's a, it's, it's an, yeah, it's an answer you don't know, basically, but you hope that experience will find it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, yeah, any thoughts? Uh, I was thinking more about the skills that I would hope to gain from any, ex um, mm. any volunteering or internship, etc. And I was, I was thinking things like more like management or leadership skills. Yeah. But I think any experience I've had until now has not been in that kind mm. of role. Um, and then on the volunteering side, and, um, like campaigning experience and yeah. So I'm thinking, so in my mind I'm thinking about charity roles and things. Mm -hmm. If I was to do volunteering in that respect, then I would hope to gain experience in campaigning and yeah. project management and something that would actually help me into a career. Mm -hmm. That's really helpful. And it's worth, when you look at these, say for example you're giving up your time doing volunteering, <coughs> it's worth thinking, does that role encompass what you're thinking yeah. about? Um, and for example, the, probably the, the higher the pay you get, the less likely you'll probably be necessarily directing teams. Yeah. Because on a voluntary level, you're often, you're often given a lot of responsibility that you might not otherwise have. Mm -hmm. um, whereas if you're paid, it could be harder because you'll be a junior sort of yeah. person, you know, on in an organisation if you're paid, you know, in a structure usually. Mm -hmm. um, and then with campaigning again, if you are fundraising for them, if you go into the bottom, it's unlikely you'll be dividing a strategy yeah. and do that. You'll be the person on the street, or you'll be the person ringing up on the phone. Yeah. Okay. Um, but if you volunteer, yeah. potentially you could get involved with yeah. that in a more strategic direction. Um, yeah. Yes? Yeah, I suppose um, <clears throat> it's quite similar in that I've never really had much experience in, in um, doing tasks which I've had like sole responsibility for. Mm -hmm. Like I've always kind of done things like in a team or yeah. I've been yeah. delegating tasks we've got, I've never really done anything where mm -hmm. it's like I haven't given a task as my personal right. responsibility. Um, which I think is something I should need to have, mm -hmm. you know, which is kinda of good to say like, you know, that you're responsible and like trust yeah. that they give, give you yeah. jobs and you're 
yeah. see them through. Um, so yeah, things like that. Uh, time management, I work into a deadline. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you get, you, get, you, get, you get some of those skills off your course, time management, you've got to have a deadline in, otherwise you, you, know, you get it gets done. Yeah. Um, but you're right, that individual responsibility, unless you join a club or society or do something that you're responsible for, mm. yeah, absolutely. It's going to be um, it's a team based or just, yeah. Okay, so um, do people feel like they know where to look for these kind of opportunities? That's a no, a chick no. Um, thoughts? Not from I mean, especially not the volunteering, I would say. Okay. Like you hear about like Rally International or yeah. all of the big... You do indeed. Yeah, and then you realise that you have to pay about £20,000 for the interested. So there's, it's yeah. more... I mean, they're all over the place, they're on Facebook and everything, but like you can't yeah. get away from them, but there's nothing about the small organisations or yeah. the more... Okay. Yeah, the smaller areas of charity or volunteering mm. or anything, yeah. There's, Okay. Cool. cool. Um, okay. So uh, this uh, may or may not be waiting for that. Um, if it comes up quick enough. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Um, let me show you a few things on here. Um, so there's a number of really nice resources that are going to help you, and we're talking thousands of opportunities. Um, one website's got a million opportunities. I mean, if you are, if you can give your time, there is things to do. Um, so I think probably um, the first one, and this is, I'd say, probably the biggest one in the UK, um, would be something like um, uh, Do It. So um, Do It .org, um, is the main sort of UK volunteering um, website. So it's got about a million opportunities on it, and it's very granular in what I mean by that. It's very detailed in the kind of choices you can make depending on what you choose. Um, so when the site loads, hooray, um, we'll just have a little look. Um, So let's just pick an example. Who would like to go and have an example of the kind of thing you might be interested in? One, two, three. Da, 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 da. Who would like to? Who started like three times? And that someone else is going. Huh? <laughs> someone else is going. Started like three times. You start. Okay. <laughs> okay. What? I don't go for it. The right. Okay. <laughs> So hopefully when this thing runs, I don't know, um, you can't really get teaching work experience in the summer because all the schools are out. So you know, maybe that maybe that Now, what would happen if you went to a different time zone and they're not out? That'll be the answer there. Okay. It's the whole world. It's the whole world at the same time. Wee. How do my voice can't scale see it's totally get that? Right, okay, fine. Uh oh, yeah. Wow, this was like a little bit slow on this connection. Okay. So, you basically um, select, okay, so, okay. do you want to look? Any yeah. thoughts? Yeah, okay, um, crisis and poverty. Okay, so these are the areas, um, oh, uh, right, okay, these are the areas, so you say crisis and poverty, let's just... The next one. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, great. Okay, what areas here interest you? Um, emergency services. Okay, yep. Um, international aid. Yep. Anything else? Um, disaster relief. Yep. Okay, cool. Lovely. Uh, right, then. Uh, and then, okay, now you can then go into um, kind of really. Um, you can talk about okay. kind of what actual roles you want to do um, within this. So it could be um, kind of practical, professional, promoting, fundraising, office, support others. So you can actually go down to quite a level of detail, which a lot of sites aren't really allowed to do. So any thoughts just to pick a few? Fundraising or something? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Um, oh, no, that's impractical. Uh, uh, 
city campaigning, fundraising, marketing, yeah, RD, right. Okay, now you probably want to stick three miles, your location in London. Um, this is where it tends to fall results. <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> But I mean, I did a search earlier for quite kind of quite kind of detailed stuff. It's conservation only in London, and me doing practical jobs. And it's like there was over a hundred, and I was like, oh, a lot of people want quite specific things. Um, so hopefully, you will have success. Uh, right, let's have a look. How many did we get? Okay, it's eight hundred now. I have found sometimes it still sticks to them. But yeah, I don't know if the, um, the location field is working particularly well because we've got stuff here which is reaching on Thames, which is great, fine. We've got stuff in Wiltshire, which it's is not certainly not. So, yeah, so some of them um, are, and some, okay, but it might be what's making a difference to your job or your for example. And fundraiser, corporate fundraising strategy. So that would be the kind of role that would get you way above what you get in a paid role. Yeah. But there is. Um, and basically, so you can get everything from you know, collection to volunteer, okay? Or you can get some like this corporate fundraising strategy. So there's so many different kind of, and it looks like you can do a lot from home actually. Um, so you could, even if you weren't in London, you could do work for them. Yeah. And that would still be. You know, six week volunteering for blah 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 blah, but you're kind of you know, doing the online marketing campaign or whatever you're doing. Um, okay, right, because that works out six seven on the day, all the time. Um, so do it, I think that's probably my number one recommendation because it's so vast in the opportunities. Um, I'd have a think about um, a job online. Okay, so job online is the University of London site, there's about three and a half thousand opportunities on there. Um, it's, some of them are paid, um, some of them volunteer, some of them part-time, and they're all kind of organisations that like kind of university you know, students, that kind of thing. So it's a bit more local, so you might buy into your brand a little bit more. Um, I think it's worth having a look at um, Volunteer Centre, that's, that's worth a look. Um, as is, um, the Mayor of London has its uh, has its own volunteering site. Um, so if you look up um, volunteerteam.london.gov.uk, um, so that's volunteerteam.london.gov.uk, um, that's got pretty much London based opportunities. So if you were kind of interested, um, that's pretty cool. Um, IVO is another one, and that's going to be a community of volunteers who kind of talk and read them. Kind of, there's about another quarter of a million opportunities on there. There's just so many things you can do. And a lot of these websites, you know, do it or IVO, they're kind of international as well. So if you don't fancy being here for the summer or wherever, then that's an issue. Um, now, for internships and stuff like that, I think these websites are charity job. Um, our search for internships in London, and there were 47, um, and that's just within in sort of London. Um, and obviously you can do things that are not internship, but what they were classifying as an internship, I mean, you have to drone into what they mean by an internship, um, but it's always in London, and that's a charity job. So again, if you're looking for that kind of formalised sort of scheme, they might even pay your expenses, that sort of thing, um, then that job would be a good one to look at. Um, now the last one, I think, that's worth having a look at, for, again, if you just want more, and I think probably you'll be able to find something in all that, if you can't still and you just want more kind of other sites or more information, then our online careers library is called Careers Tagged. Okay, now, it sits behind a firewall. It's got a password, um, and for reasons that I bore you with, I'll need to give you a password now. Um, it can't be done through your info address because there's single sign-on issues. Um, so if you want to get into that, and that can be used for anything, so you can type in you know political think tanks, you can type in. Uh, philosophy, you can type in all sorts of things, and I'll get you lots and lots of information, lots of different websites that categorise some of those different tags. 
Um, okay, so the username is um, Heathrock underscore guest, all lowercase. Heathrock underscore guest, all lowercase. And the password is, again, lowercase um, Heathrock and capital G. 133. So Heathrock, all lowercase and capital G, and 133, and that's the password. And again, that's really rich kind of data um, on there. Now, in the few minutes we have, is that clock fast, slow, or on time? Uh, clock behind you is right, 21 minutes past. Okay. Um, so, the other things you might want to think about are how you're going to get these opportunities. Um, so things like CDs, cover letters, applications. Some of them will be very informal. And this will be a case of, oh, great, brilliant, you're interested, that's fantastic, come on in. Um, others will be much more competitive. Um, and any of you probably heard the name, then potentially other people will too, and you'll go against lots of other people. However, there's so many charities out there that you could gain this, you know, the same skill somewhere else that they just haven't heard of. And I think it's much, much easier to get in. So do think about the, um, I guess, that kind of competitive advantage. Maybe you live in a certain area, you've got a connection to that charity, that they, you know, you went to the school and that, that kind of you see on LinkedIn that they're part of this charity. Those kind of connections are going to help you, whereas you just apply for, what, I don't know, say the children or SBCC, for an internship over the summer, you know, hundreds of other people might want that as well. So just, just that in mind. Um, <coughs> I think if you want an application checked over, then just come and see me. Um, <coughs> every Monday, um, and we've already met. Hey, hello. Um, I think we've as well, yes. Yeah, yeah I think we have, yeah. yeah. Um, so just, just come on in, and um, on the way, book it, uh, just go online with his email address, Google Heath Rock Careers, Google email address, the administrator, she'll send us in, the box you in, et cetera. On Monday morning. Um, any other questions people had? Is it sometimes worth going to the charity directly? Uh, Ooh, okay. Or to that? Is it? I don't know. Because I was just thinking about, because um, I applied for some festival volunteering for yeah. Oxfam. Yeah. But like I went down like a list, but I haven't really heard anything. So okay. I was wondering, like, if you go to them directly, is that mm. less of a chance or more of a chance or you know, things like that? Um, I think you want to do your homework, so you might want to just give them a call, just give them type of a call. Um, if it's, what was the festival, was it? Uh, it was like, they, they do lots of things, so you, you just kind of like tick all the ones that okay. you do. Um, okay. So. Yeah, it might be worth, was it, I mean, if there's any contact person, mm. ring up, hi, can I speak to X? They could just be really busy and they've got enough, you're yeah. fine. Yeah. Or um, you know, get in touch, I can speak to this person. If you say, hi, I'm a volunteer, I can speak to the volunteer coordinator for festivals, I'm sure you'll probably get somewhere. Okay. Like, I might just go, oh no, you don't want to help, thanks. Um, even if then she just says, oh, sorry, we deal with it all online, mm. at least you know. Um, but I would really, yeah, I'd probably want to follow that up. Um, and then go on other sites, and if you're interested in that type of volunteering, so it could be to festivals, it could be to music, it could be whatever it is, then you want to have three or four or five different things going on. Because one, it might not come through, they might not pick you, they might not need the skill set. I don't know, they might not. Fit in your dates, you're free. Um, yeah, no problem with being out, give them a call. Um, and then you need to send a cheeky letter off or whatever. Yeah, great. Come in, I'll, you know, write a draft, check it. Cool. Yeah, no issues.